Hi, hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can make this color bomb sweater. It's entirely made with uh, leftover yarn, so I hope you'll enjoy it. I used uh, leftover yarn, like three strands of yarn held together. This is a fingering weight yarn but I will give you on uh, on my blog how you can um, calculate the weight of your yarn considering what kind and what weight of yarn are you putting together and we are using a 8 millimeter crochet hook and now we will start to work on the collar which will be a ribbing pattern with single crochet just in the back loop so I chained here uh, 40 stitches but then after blocking I realized that is a pretty high uh, neck so maybe you will want to and I have to fold it twice so maybe you will want to just start with half number of stitches maybe 20 or 25 to be um, uh, less higher than is mine but I like it this way I have to fold it twice which I don't mind so in case you like the thing the this idea of holding of folding the neck twice the collar then you can start with 40 stitches if not just start with less number of stitches to have a proper high of your collar then to start the first row you just have to chain one and then single crochet into each stitch to the end of the row i finished the first row now chain one and turn and now we will start to work into first stitch but the first stitch will be a regular single crochet the same as the last stitch and then you will start to work a single crochet just in the back loop of your work. This will create this ribbing effect and it will look like nice in the end. And you will have to repeat this row so every time start working with a regular single crochet in the first stitch. Now we are finishing the row also with a regular single crochet and in the rest of the stitches we are working back loop single crochet and now I will repeat this row until we have 42 rows in total or you have the desired width of your collar okay I finished all 42 rows this might look a little bit um, narrower at this point but believe me that after blocking it will stretch uh, pretty much so it's a perfect width for the uh, collar and now we are have to join this sides here to have uh, basically a tube and we won't uh, stitch together with the needle we will just uh, slip stitch uh, into each stitch that we have so insert the hook like this and grab the loop that you have at the end of the row pull it through and now starting with the second stitch you'll have to slip stitch all the way down and join together the um, collar and have basically a tube just make sure that you are going with the hook through the loops of both sides to just join them together and you'll have to continue like this to the end of the row now we will have to switch to white to change the color with white and we will start to work basically the first row of our sweater if you want to see all the colors that I'm using along the sweater you will find on the blog a sketch a diagram with uh, all the color that I've used of course that these are just um, uh, 
as guidance because you can use any colors that you want. We are going to make this first row without increasing and anything, just working the first row of our sweater and we will work one double crochet into each stitch. And basically a stitch is a, it's a side row a single crochet. So you have to find um, your stitches not to work too many. So first I want to make one double crochet into the first row here, side row. Then I will go here. Basically I'm working in the uh, this bump, so in that uh, ribbing and then in the stitch that is next to that bump and continuing like this to the end of the round and um, you should end up with 42 stitches, the same number of um, the same number of uh, stitches as the number of rows that you worked on the collar. Okay, so I'm done with the first row. Now we can start working on our yoke and I will start using the blue. So basically when I um, I made my uh, balls of yarn. I just started looking in my stash and trying to find um, some uh, similar colors like light blue with blue or orange with yellow and just combine them like this. Now we have to uh, use some stitch marker to mark the number of stitches for each side and you will have 13 stitches for the front and back and six stitches for the sleeves and of course that you will end up with having four more stitches which will be the uh, increases uh, stitches, the stitches where we will increase. So after placing the stitch marker I will use the stitch markers only for the first row uh, for, for the first round because after that you'll see that it's pretty visible where the increases will be made. And now we are starting the uh, round where our yarn is and I will switch to blue Because we are working uh, with a four, uh, 8 mm crochet hook, basically you can use any weight yarn from uh, let's say Aran to Chunky yarn, it will work. Uh, basically what I used here with 3 strands of yarn, it's similar with Aran yarn, so um, um, Basically, it will be a little bit. Uh, the stitches will be a little bit looser because this yarn is worked uh, normally with uh, a crochet hook up to six, seven millimeters. Let the strands of yarn where they are because you will wave in, uh, wave the the end at the end, and never cut the white yarn because we will have to. Uh, reuse it after each row because white we are using af uh, with after each color row. So I'm trying here to make a um, invisible start. So I'm not chaining two or three at the beginning of the row, just uh, pulling uh, the loop a little bit uh, bigger and then making the double crochet. This will make less visible the joining uh, of the rows and the changing colors, but use any method that you find easier for uh, doing this kind of things. So now we will work one double crochet into each stitch up to the next um, stitch marker. Basically if you want to make this uh, sweater in a bigger size, because this is size small that we are doing now, you can uh, start with the same number of stitches, the same number of um, stitches for the collar, so the rows for the collar, only that you will make uh, more rows for the yoke. Now in the stitch where we have placed the, um, had placed the stitch marker, we will do 
three double crochet and then place a stitch marker into the second one to know where you'll have to make the increase on the next row and proceed the same with every um, corner every stitch marker so just make one double crochet into each stitch and in the marked stitch make three double crochet and mark the second stitch of those three now switch again to white you can cut the blue yarn now just pull it through to and I will start my row again not with a chain 2 just twist the loop make it bigger and twist it a bit and then make a double crochet into the same stitch and we will continue with one double crochet into each, each stitch until the marked stitch and in the marked stitch we will do the increase again but we will do something to have a bit of texture on those uh, raglan lines so for now just making one double crochet into each stitch and now that we got to the mark stitch we are doing one double crochet and then one front post double crochet around the same stitch and then another double crochet but make sure that you are doing the double crochet behind the front post stitch so in the same stitch and now you know that always you'll have to do the increases in this front post stitch and al always uh, for the next rows the uh, stitches are made the same and we will continue like this now we are working the stitches for the sleeve and in the second uh, mark stitch we will do the same increase so I'm doing one double crochet one front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the same stitch and continue like this to the end of the row making the same increases and then I just switch to uh, other color and I will repeat basically the previous row so you'll have to alternate one color after every white color so you will have a white row then a colored row a white row and a colored row and you'll have to work like this the entire sweater but for the yoke you'll have to keep the increases in the um, front post stitch that you have making uh, always one double crochet one front post double crochet and another double crochet into the same front post double crochet of the previous row and you'll have to repeat like this until you have in total for size small you have in total uh, 14 rows counting from the first white row until the end of the row and after finishing the yoke we will meet again just to um, see how we are dividing the yoke into sleeves and body and how we will continue from there okay I finished the yoke the 14 rows that uh, we have to work for the yoke my last round is a color round so I will do the separating round in white so I already changed white and now let's see how we will divide the uh, yoke into sleeves and body and 
I just made my first stitch here and now I will start working double crochet stitches into each stitch until I will get to the first corner which will be uh, that uh, front post uh, double crochet that we have here so now just double crochet into each stitch okay I am at the corner now and we will do a double crochet here in the corner and then to have a armpit chain and be uh, easy to wear and more comfortable to wear we will just chain four because this is an oversized sweater already we have enough with for uh, the boost so it's enough and then just skip the stitches for the sleeves and go into the next front post double crochet and make one double crochet and now we will do double crochet stitches into each stitch to the next front post stitch this is basically a simple uh, top-down sweater and I found it easier to work it this way since I wanted to work with many colors and to use all my uh, leftover yarn that I had well I still had some but maybe I will do something else so now we are at the front post stitch and we are repeating the same thing as for the other sleeve so make one double crochet and chain four skip the stitches for the sleeve and then make one double crochet into the next make one double crochet into the next front post stitch and then we will continue with one double crochet into each stitch to the end of the row all round You have to pay attention if you are working the same with uh, um, three or two strands of yarn at once to grab them all at once because it might split. And we are finishing this uh, round just with double crochet to the end. And then we will join and change with the other color that you will want to use. Again, I will say it again, uh, the colors that I used, maybe you will find some uh, uh, closer colors to your yarn stash to use. Maybe you like the colorway and you want to use them the same. You will find uh, all the colors that I use, well, main color like blue, green, yellow, orange and so on. Uh, in the written pattern and all, also I will give you the um, yardage for yardage for the uh, each color um, that I that I used so you will have um, some yard amount for blue for white for yellow and so on so you'll see, know if you want to use same number of colors how much yarn you'll you, you'll need for each color that you will want to use and of course if you want to use only two color or so then you can calculate how much yarn you will need now we will just have to uh, double crochet into each stitch for the body section of the sweater I make I made uh, waist length and I made in total eight rows okay I already finished the body of the sweater and also did one sleeve but I will show you right away how to work the sleeve as well so as I said I worked 8 rows in total 
and now we will have to add a ribbing for the body of the sweater um, as I said before if you want to make it longer this sweater to be longer then you can um, work more rows on your body I'm using this color for the uh, ribbing and I will use a 6 millimeter crochet hook this time because I want that the ribbing to be uh, narrower than the uh, body of the sweater and you will see that we will also do some decreasing while uh, while we are working on the uh, on the ribbing so we are just joining the other color of yarn now the ribbing you can do it as wide as you want I just uh, I will just chain 8 so in total my uh, ribbing will have 7 stitches like so and now I will start with the uh, second stitch and do one single crochet into each stitch until I will get at the end of the uh, this chain that I uh, made for ribbing. So I will have in total 7 single crochet and now we will join and make some slip stitches to just uh, join this uh, rows of the ribbing with the body of the sweater and we will do a decrease like this so instead of slip stitch just in the first stitch you are slip stitch into insert the hook into the first then into the next one and the first loop you are uh, pulling it through uh, all the loops that you have on the hook and then turn your work and make single crochet just in the back loop of each stitch I did the decreases at every joining so after every row when I got to the bottom of the sweater I did that decrease you might want to have um, your waist to be wider depending on your body shape or so on considering that we are using already a smaller hook than the rest of the sweater and ribbing also tends to be uh, to stretch then you might want, want to use uh, the same size hook and without decreasing you have to taste to uh, test a bit and see how you want your uh, ribbing to be I continue like this for the entire uh, body of the sweater so see that uh, my ribbing my uh, waist is uh, way smaller than the rest of the sweater but as I said depending on your body shape on how the uh, you want the sweater to be so you might want not uh, to do those decreases so just slip stitch into the next two stitches while you are working and joining this uh, ribbing rows or uh, you might want to use the same hook size as um, the rest of the sweater this will be or you might do the decreases let's just say you are doing a decrease now and then you are repeating another decrease but after uh, two or three rows that you are joining without making a decrease this is up to you this is up to your uh, body waist so um, you I hope you will find um, a proper way to do it and to make your sweater to fit perfectly now we are joining the uh, ends of the ribbing the same way as we did with the collar and we are about after finishing this to show you how to work the sleeve so after joining with slip stitches you have to count the stitches to have the same number of stitches as uh, the 
ribbing so I need seven and make sure that you are making the joining correctly into correspondent stitch because otherwise you'll have a pretty weird joining now we can cut the yarn and we can start working on the sleeve this is how the body of the sweater is looking and we will meet again to work the sleeves okay so we are about to start the sleeve I just worked one in advance but I will show you how to work the second sleeve and of course that you will have to repeat the same pattern for the um, uh, the other one so I am joining the white yarn because my last round of the yoke was a blue round so now I have to make the with make it with the white and I'm rejoining yarn here at the in a middle stitch of the armpit And I'm making the, the, that uh, double crochet with twisted first loop but as I said you can do it uh, and join and make the first stitch uh, however feels more comfortable for you I just uh, see this uh, kind of starting the row and changing color being less visible than uh, with normal joining with a slip stitch but uh, you can use any method that you find uh, more useful or more simple or exactly how you prefer to work uh, this kind of rounds now here on the side of this double crochet I won't do two stitches because I don't want to increase so basically I will do a decrease with the other stitch which will be basically this corner stitch that uh, uh, we uh, where we did the separation the raglan lines and then just continue with one double crochet into each stitch around the sleeves don't have any decreases along we will just decrease um, when making the ribbing in the same way as we did with the um, uh, hem bottom hem ribbing so we will will just decrease on the cuffs but until then you will just have to work one double crochet into each stitch here I'm making another decrease on that side row double crochet because otherwise uh, you'll have a space and I don't want that and I don't want to increase and make two double crochet instead of one so now we are joining the row and you'll have to switch with the next color unfortunately I didn't have enough green or yellow so I uh, skipped the green and started directly with the orange but of course if you have enough color of uh, each that you use on the body you can use the same color to just keep uh, keep them lining uh, okay with body and sleeves so now I'm joining the other color that I will use and we will continue to alternate one white color one white round with one colored round and we will do in total for the sleeves 16 rounds or as many rounds as you wish to uh, complete or to get to the desired length of the sleeve so now I will just double crochet with this orange color into each stitch and I will try to keep the same colors as for the body but if I'm not having one color just switching and use another one so 
make it as you wish if you want more symmetrical lines on your sweater and uh, on the body and on the sleeves and you have the colors you can use them in the same way as you did on the body and we will meet at the end of this sleeve to work the cuff Okay, so I finished the sleeve and now we will do the cuff ribbing which will be in the same manner as we worked the bottom hem ribbing but this time I'm using the pink color because I had some and I wanted to use it. The same you can do the cuffs and uh, bottom hem ribbing in the same colors you will have to play with what you have and uh, make a beautiful color bomb sweater. So the same way as we did uh, with the uh, bottom hem ribbing, we are rejoining the yarn and using the 6mm crochet hook and we will start the chain 8. Then turn and work one single crochet into each chain so you will end up with seven single crochet because you have to start working in the second stitch of this uh, that chain that you made and the same at the end we will do the joining with the sleeve stitches and we will do those decreases in the same way as we did on the uh, bottom hem so I'm inserting the hook once twice in the next stitch and pulling the loop through the other two and then another slip stitch and turn then in the back loop of the uh, single crochet we will work single crochet in the back loop only and we will repeat in the same way until we will complete the entire sleeve and then joining with slip stitches the same as we did on the collar on the bottom hem and you have to repeat of course for the other sleeve I already work on the second one but if you are at the first one and probably you, you are so you'll just have to repeat and basically this was it I really hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see your color, color bomb sweater thanks for watching and see you next time